Hello friends, hope you are doing absolutely fine. Welcome to our family that is Learn RPA UiPath Trainings channel. Today we will be learning about Move File Activity. Yes, in Move File Activity of UiPath video, we will be covering about a walkthrough which will contain first moving a single file from source location to destination location, second moving a bulk number of files from source location to destination location and third overwriting already existing files at the destination location. So let's begin. Wait 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 before starting if you have not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit the bell notification icon to receive timely updates from us. Now let's begin. I have already created a workflow for move file activity, for moving a single file as well as for moving bulk number of files. In this video, we will be going through it and execute it. I will open the already created workflow for move file. Let's wait till it creates the workspace and adds the dependencies. Here I have created three files, first main.xaml file, second single file move sequence.xaml file and third bulk file move sequence.xaml file. We will open main.xaml file. In main.xaml files we have invoked two workflows. First single file move sequence.xaml file. Second bulk file move sequence.xaml. We will open single file move sequence. In single file move sequence, we have used move file activity from activity panel. The parameters that we need to provide are from. In from section, we provide the path of the file that we need to move. Here, in the source folder file path variable, I have provided the dump test.txt file path in a dynamic way by using environment.current directory. In two section, we provided the destination folder file path where we want that file to get moved. We have override checkbox. If this checkbox is checked and the same name file is already present at the destination folder, then it gets override. If this checkbox is not checked and the scenario happens, then UI path will throw an error. We will check the project folders that I have already created. We have a source folder where we have the sample files that we will be working on and we have destination folder which is empty. In the main file, we will disable the workflow for bulk file move. We will save this and run it. The workflow is successfully executed. As we can see in the output panel, the file is moved. Now we will check the destination folder. The destination folder which was empty before now contains the dump test.txt file. Now we will go to the project folders. The destination folder which was empty before now contains the dump test.txt file. For the next operation we will move this file again to the source folder. Now we saw the single file move sequence executing successfully. Now we will see the for it for the bulk move sequence. In bulk file move sequence, we have assign activity. In the value part of the assign activity, we have used directory.getFiles method and provided the source folder file path as a parameter. The directory.getFiles will take all the files that are present into this folder 
along with their paths and saved to the file collection. The file collection is a variable of array of string type. In order to move all the files that are present into the file collection one by one, we have used for each loop. And inside the for each loop, we have used the move file and provided the destination folder path where we want to save all those files. After moving each file, I have used a log message into the for each loop itself. Now, we will go to main section. Disable the single file move sequence and enable the bulk file move sequence. We will save it and execute it. In the output panel, we see the it is successfully completed. We will check the project folders. The bulk destination folder, which was empty before, now contains the files. The project source folder must be empty now because all these files are successfully moved. Thank you guys for watching this video. In the next video, we will be creating a step by step workflow for move file activity, for moving a single file as well as for moving bulk files. If you have watched this video till now, please hit the like button. Also, share this video among your friends so that they are aware about this activity. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do subscribe it because this little thing brings smile on our face. Also, in the comment section, please mention the name of the activity which you want us to get covered on our channel. Till then, bye-bye, take care.